I think a chance um, conversation between uh, my father and the uh, uh, previous chair of uh, Gordon Syndrome Group, Sally, uh, who's still a trustee with us and doing some great work uh, that led to where we are now. Um, uh, the charity has uh, been under the stewardship of Sally and uh, Margaret and John for uh, since it founded uh, in the uh, in the 1990s, and um, um, they inevitably other things have come up for them and they're, they're, they were looking for a new, uh, new direction and some new trustees for the group and uh, I, I was really honoured to, to step in and, and be a part of that. Um, the, the aim I suppose for me is how we can um, you know, build on the great legacy that they've uh, established and uh, work on some of the some of the things that are really important for the Gawley community. So working with the medical community where possible uh, to help with their understanding and engagement. Um, us engaging with some fantastic specialists in Gordon Syndrome who are, are our medical advisors who really help us uh, in terms of um, uh, how to deal with Gordon Syndrome medically and publish best practice. Uh, and then also working with the Gordon community themselves and helping them through it. Uh, we run a fantastic Facebook group which is uh, really well received and a really good discussion base for a lot of people with Gordon. So I'm, I'm really excited about um, how, we, uh, how we develop the group and the charity and how we, uh, how we continue helping, uh, helping others with the syndrome.